other way. If you're down with the Do For Self movement that started this petition, if you are down for justice, or if you are down for fairness, if you are down for meek, on the count of three, we are going to chant free meek mills. One, two, three, free meek mills. Hey, what's going on, y'all? This your favorite fly guy, Charles Gregory of We Talk Weekly. Now, you know we got the exclusive, right? <laughs> That's right. Me and the Sizzle had the opportunity to go right downtown to CJ Center and see this rally for Meek Mill. Now, the who's who was definitely in the building and we were right there up close and personal. And so you're getting the exclusive here. Now, we're releasing this in segments because it was pretty long and we want you to see everyone who was there to actually speak on behalf of Meek Mill. We had Rick Ross, PNB Rock. Dr. J. Julius Irvin, listen, everyone that was the who's who actually came down. So before we go to this video that's coming up, you have to subscribe right now so you can stay updated to all of the videos that we release. Not only these, but everything else also. And if it's someone that you would like us to cover, you would like us to get the exclusive on, you know you can reach out to us. This your boy Charles Gregory, and we'll be right back. And the message here is for a biased judicial system predicated on race and economics. If they can do it to Meek and he has the, the, the money to get the best attorneys in the world, who else are they doing it to? We cannot allow our public officials to run rampant. We need an immediate recusal of the judge. This is not an appointed position. This is an elected uh, position. So next up is Malcolm Jenkins from the Eagles. Well, please give him your attention so you can get the message. Thank you, brother. Good evening. Uh, since its inception, our criminal justice system has devoured black and brown bodies. And in this manner, in this case, the manner in which our brother Meek Mill has been handled shines a light on the injustices that people, especially black and brown people, face on a regular. Harsh sentencing, strict supervision, and more importantly, the huge disparities in the dealings of justice has eroded the faith of black and brown communities in our criminal justice system. We're not gonna act like Meek Mill is an angel or that he's perfect. He's a man, a man that made some mistakes and for 10 years has paid for those mistakes. We're not here on his behalf to call for a pass. We're here to demand that he be dealt with fairly, that common sense be used in his judgment, and we're here to demand justice. Our criminal justice system and those who, are, who have the power to change it have failed to do a simple risk-reward analysis on the cost in which we operate. None of the tactics that drive mass incarceration make our communities safer. And for that, there is no reward. But here are the costs. Our criminal justice system and its constant presence in black and brown communities costs taxpayers millions of dollars. It cripples the rights and freedoms of our, of our citizens. It cripples the foundation of our households and in turn decimates our communities. We cannot sit back and watch our brothers and sisters get hauled off to prison. Our leaders, our innovators, and our talent is gone. And for what? For petty violations. Just to go home and turn on your television to see somebody who's made far greater offenses walking free, living their lives, and enjoying the realities of a second chance. We must continue to push for reform in our criminal justice system. We must continue to speak loudly to those who have the power to change it and we must continue to stand with Meek and the millions that he represents. Free Meek, God bless you all.